What's up? My name is Matt Goodbread. I work for Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki and I spin wrenches for the number 30 Joe Shimoda. Starting at the front of the bike, Joe runs a Renthal Twin Wall 996 handlebar. At Pro Circuit, we make our own bar mounts. He's in a pretty neutral position on the bar, I'd say right in line with the forks. The triple clamps, we also make at Pro Circuit. He's in the back hole. We get two options. You can run them in the back or the front hole. He runs them in the back. Again, a pretty neutral spot. The bar mounts, uh, it's a standard, standard plus four. So it's standard offset and all that, and then just a plus four mil for height. So we run a pro circuit throttle tube that we make in-house. The gray Renthal soft half waffle grips, along with grip donuts. Uh, Renthal gives us a bunch of options and he prefers these over anything else. Since I first started with him, he was always asking to run his steering a little tighter and a little tighter. So I've kind of got it now where I've got a, a solid point and I can set it to the same every weekend. He definitely runs it a bit more snug than most guys do. Nut on the top of our triple clamps is uh, just an aluminum nut with some holes in it and then we safety wire it for not backing out so it can't come loose. We run arc levers, uh, clutch and brake. Bob gives us a bunch of different options, uh, ratios, pulls. He's a pretty neutral, they're not too high, not too low, I'd say right in the middle. And then they're not super far out, kind of just likes a firm brake and nice clutch. At the front of the bike, we have a carbon discard uh, that we get made custom for us, bolts into the, the axle and then into one of the brake hanger bolts. And then we have a, a Nissan caliper with a braking 270 millimeter front rotor. Banjos are titanium banjos. And then we, uh, we cut a small lane down through them to let the safety wire sit in nice and, and tighten up nice to the banjos. With our, our caliper that we run, the Nissan Works caliper, they definitely are a little more spongy, but they're more of a progressive. When you do hit them, they, they stop immediately. Master is a stock master cylinder. It's actually off an older model bike. Just ran that and seemed to like that better paired up with our Nissan caliper. Front brake line is stock. We just cut some sheathing off and put some heat shrink on there and clean it up a little bit, make it look better. Safety wired and banjo bolts, so nothing can get hit, broke loose, uh, anything like that. The red plug is just a, a data port. That's uh, We have an SD card in there, and then uh, after we get done off the track, our team manager can pull it, plug it into the computer, and you can tell anything from uh, throttle position on the track, if something's wrong with the bike possibly, or if it's making you know a weird spit and sputter or something like that, kind of just a preventative thing, and then just to make sure the bike's running to the best of its ability. And then the black plug next to it is just a GPS, so then we can see uh, where he is on the track um, when we're looking at that data. We could pinpoint where it is acting up. And that's sometimes we see that with Joe. Joe sometimes explains things differently than they come across, so uh, it's good to have that kind of stuff so then we can kind of back up and make sure he is getting across what he's trying to say. On the clutch, we run a carbon guard, just uh, preventative from rocks and stuff flying during the race, possibly putting a hole in it or breaking it and then you know causing a DNF. So we run a carbon piece on there. Joe runs a little bit different of a clutch line than the stock. It's a dash two line, more of a progressive, not so on off. Uh, he's not a big clutch guy, but he mainly likes it for the start. He can kind of feed it out a little more. And that's been helping him on the starts quite a bit since we've moved to that. On the side down by the fork, that is just the, uh, the start map button. Normally you would see them up on the bars. We've relocated it down to the side of the frame uh, just to keep it from you know, cluttering up the handlebars and trying to lessen what we have going on up there and move it down to the side. And then, you know, it's quick and easy out of the way for the riders to hit right before the start. And that just shuts off uh, once they hit third gear going down the straightaway. Yeah, we got a pretty sweet transponder mount uh, from Arc Bob, stronger and better than uh, the plastic ones that we get from uh, the transponder company and just makes it cleaner, you know, stronger. So we run uh, the Pro, uh, Showa Pro Circuit uh, Works a kit forks they're done by adrian and luke and then we still have bones around to help us get those all dialed in pro circuit makes our own lugs for feel and better characteristics of the motorcycle we run a titanium front axle dlc coated we make some uh, black delrin plugs to keep the mud and water out of the axle uh, titanium pinch bolts. So yeah, we make our own whole shot device at Pro Circuit. Uh, it's actually a two button system. Actually probably one of the few things we don't sell to the public. We do have another version of it. It's just not a two button. The two button, it's a 15 mil change in between. We run the lower one as your standard button that you use uh, constantly. And then the one up from that is if it's uh, slick conditions, we can move up to that so you're not loading the front so much. Joe runs his pretty deep, 140, 155. 
pretty deep. And then at the bottom of the fort guard, the bolt coming out of it is, uh, there's a strap behind that and that just keeps the plastic from ripping out and possibly, you know, the fork popping back up. Yeah, so uh, Dunlop supplies us with all of our tires. Uh, it's a spec tire and then uh, Excel A60 rim and that's paired up with uh, a KHI works front hub. The spokes are actually a works part. There's just a plus three spoke, so they're a little bit longer than stock just to give us a little more clearance into the nipple. Just uh, they last longer, hold up a little longer. We run some works radiators. They're a little bit longer than stock, hold a little bit more fluid. The right side actually has an oil cooler in them and uh, just kind of keeps the uh, clutch to last a little longer and then we run a 1.8 radiator cap we put a clip in that that keeps uh, the radiator cap from the possibility of getting hit off or kicked they move their legs around quite a bit and it's it's happened before so we try to prevent anything like that we run a pro circuit overflow catch can on the side catches all the coolant that comes out when the bike starts to get hot and then uh, instead of it just dumping on the ground it can get recycled back in as it's cooling off you know it doesn't overheat as fast or something like that if it's a hot race yes yeah, so we run the, the Samco hoses we get them straight straight from them, standard length. We just cut them to fit our radiators since they're a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. But just your standard, same ones you can buy. And then uh, we have our blue oil clear lines as well, uh, tucked in behind there. And then uh, just some uh, coated spigots off the head. And then uh, behind the hose there, we have a, a secondary start button, um, just in the possibility of the primary start button getting ripped off in a first turn crash or something like that. We have that backup just to uh, get the bike going again. Engines are done in-house at Pro Circuit. Team manager, Ian Southwell, Mitch, and then uh, Schneike, they spend hours of R&D and development getting the best package together possible for our racers and giving them the best edge they can on the competition. Joe is definitely a, a different type of rider. He likes a light engine, I would say. Like he likes it to light up quick and kind of get going. So we've kind of tailored his a little bit more towards his style of riding than uh, the rest of the team. We run a, an SR harness, which is just a, you know, we have a few things relocated and set up for how we do it with, you know, the secondary start button. So it's nothing crazy. You know, we do some of our own things, like we make our start buttons with the, the taller start housing on it. And that's just uh, to keep it from the rider's leg hitting it or getting hit like Joe at San Diego this year, when he crashed in the first turn, his start button broke. So we had to use the secondary start button. And it's just kind of a, a preventative thing Yes, yeah, so we, we put a, an abrasion guard on that just to keep it uh, lasting a little longer and look a little cleaner. We have our Pro Circuit water pump and impeller on there. Improves flow and horsepower uh, with our Pro Circuit clutch cover. And then Hinson supplies us with our clutch basket and all of our internals for our clutch. Joe, honestly, very rarely like smokes a clutch. He's super mellow on a clutch. So we just run the standard pro circuit clutch springs with him. Nothing crazy, nothing to keep him off the clutch as much as possible. He's really good about it. I would say 90% of the time, the only time he uses the clutch is on the start. Other than that, he carries a lot of momentum, so he doesn't really need the clutch as much as most riders would. So yeah, we use Hinson and then uh, JE supplies us with all of our pistons made to our spec and what we find works best for us. Front engine hangers are from, we get those from Scott at Showa. I believe it's uh, Works Chassis Lab. He supplies us with those engine hangers, coated, pretty cool looking. And then the uh, top engine hangers are actually just a stock engine hanger and uh, they're machined uh, with the holes for uh, flex characteristics and you know get a better feeling for the bike and you know that's stuff that we've ran through and tested with Ivan, our test guy, and he seems to really like those and everybody else seems to gel with them well. Henson actually does all the acidizing for us. That's a lot of the coatings on our engine. They do all the acidizing for us, help with wear and you know better protection, and also they look pretty sweet. Down to the rear brake, the brake pedal is a works brake pedal. It's uh, about the same as stock. The tip just folds. In case of a crash or something, it can uh, fold out of the way instead of bending or braking. And then we have a brake snake on there as well that's just mounted to the frame in case the brake gets caught in a rut and tries to pull out, tries to prevent it from doing that. And then uh, fixed to our pivot, we actually have a pedal stop that's uh, machined into the end of it and then uh, set to each rider's pedal height in case of you know them casing a jump or something. Brake can't get hit up and rip the guts out of the master cylinder. Coming out of the header, we have an O2 bung. That's just uh, air fuel, make sure the bike's running to the best possible way it can. Again, goes along with our data, make sure we're, we're covering everything we can and make sure the bike's running best as possible. Custom skid plate we get made to our spec. 
how we want it, and I'd say the coolest part about it is the uh, opportunity of having to change an uh, engine, an engine swap. You actually don't have to take the skid plate off to swap the engine. So it's a pretty cool low profile skid plate and has great protection for everything we need. Uh, we make the foot pegs. It's a tie foot peg, tie mount. Uh, we have some pretty cool titanium peg covers to keep uh, rocks and mud from packing up the uh, pegs. And then uh, a tie pin, and uh, we make those in-house and to our specs. So the Vibram is the grip on the side, a new sponsor to us from last year. That stuff is awesome. They sent it to us uh, all cut out and everything. I cut Joe's down a little bit more. That's the main spot where they grab, and I think it kind of looks pretty cool. Trimmed down a little bit, just shows that you, know, you can do more than put the whole piece on there. You know, show off the frame a little more too. So yeah, that stuff's awesome. Everybody seems to really like it. It holds up super long, and uh, I mean, we run it on our practice bike. You know, a week, two weeks, and it won't even peel off. Yeah, so we got a, a Showa shock as well, uh, 18 millimeter shock shaft, a little beefier supercross. You know, big triples and. Just the possibility of coming up short on something, try to preventative stuff, better fuel and everything. And then uh, uh, Adrian over at Showa gets us all dialed in with the shock as well. And then we have our pro circuit linkage that uh, we complement with our shock and find what works the best along with uh, the titanium bolts, plasma coated for, in the linkage and uh, aluminum nuts. We have a bunch of different options, uh, link arms and knuckles. And uh, again, Ivan will go through and test a bunch of that stuff for us and find what works the best cool billet uh, clevis down on the shock. The rear master is uh, pretty much the same as is production. It's an SR part just because uh, the window is taken out of it to prevent any rocks going through the glass or something like that. Rear brake line is stock, uh, just some safety wire on it to keep the sheathing in place. Joe runs a standard subframe. Everybody on the team, I believe, is on the same. We don't really have any options to cut that down or anything like that, so everybody's on a standard subframe. Pro Circuit, TI6 Pro exhaust, made to our specs, you can buy Pretty much the same thing from us, mainly just tailored to our specs for passing sound and stuff like that. And then uh, subframe, we have a we weld on our own billet mount, a little stronger than stock. You know, keep the possibility of one breaking down. We uh, the bolt we run through it, we put a hole in the end, and we're able to put a little clip in the back, make sure uh, no loose bolts. Yeah, so we we put a little guard on the uh, on the pipe there. It keeps it from you know the riders are squeezing so hard going through the whoops and stuff, and their feet are moving around so much. Try to keep the can in better shape than you know getting all beat up and dented up. Yeah, the rear caliper is a stock uh, part. Uh, we machine a breather hole into the top of it to dissipate heat a little better. And then uh, a tie pin, stock rear brake pads, I chamfer them just to make wheel changes easier and faster. The piston is a titanium piston, KHI works part. Uh, we drill holes into it, again, to help dissipate the heat a little better, uh, keep the brake from fading fast as possible. And then we have a SR billet hanger as well to go along with it with uh, tie pins. The uh, rear axle is uh, a tie rear axle, uh, DLC'd, and then we run our own pro circuit axle blocks. A lot of teams get away from the cotter pin in the rear axle. We like the cotter pin in the rear axle, just a little added uh, protection, you know, cotter pins in there, you know, it's, you know, it's good to go. Joe runs his axle farther forward than the rest of the team. He's found that he really likes that in, in the transitions and seat bouncing. Um, that help, has helped him a lot these last few rounds. Uh, and then we run uh, tie chain adjusters and chain adjuster nuts as well. So we have uh, tie disc bolts and sprocket bolts with uh, the stock nut on the sprocket bolts. Our sprockets are from Renthal and chains are from Excel. Joe runs a 1347. He's uh, a little bit different gearing than the rest of the team. He likes a, a short, snappy gearbox. He, he doesn't want to use first gear. He wants to use second, not have to go to first. So we've kind of tailored his gearing to, again, the way he rides. He's a little bit different than the rest of them. And he likes that short, snappy, quick gearing to be able to cut down and turns quick and everything like that. So this is what we came up with and he really likes. And then we have a carbon uh, chain guide in the rear with a plastic insert. With Joe's shorter gearing setup than the rest, I actually have to make his uh, guard in the rear to keep uh, to get up a little bit so we can keep the chain in the correct spot and uh, not have it derail. Yeah, the, the slider up front is stock. Uh, we got some tie bolts holding it on. Um, all the dimpling on all the bolts and everything we do in-house, that's a pretty cool thing that we get to do and try to shave weight where we can and cosmetics, it looks pretty cool as well. We make our own air boots in-house, uh, kind of tailored to our engine specs and what we come up with and what works the best for, for our spec. And then uh, Twin Air supplies us with our filters. Uh, we got a pretty cool tie uh, air filter bolt as well with a aluminum 
aluminum washer, SMX filter, which is like a supermoto style air filter, uh, just a little bit thinner, a little more surface area. And then uh, we run the same thing for outdoors, but we have a mud style one as well if it's raining or sandy track. You know, we have dust covers as well. Just, you know, we have options if need be. Joe's not super picky on seats. It's a stock seat base. I run the Guts light seat foam, throttle syndicate gripper seat. He's not super picky on the seat. It could be brand new, broken. He probably won't say too much about it. I try to keep a few in rotation just so they're kind of always fresh and always getting worn at the same time. So it's not a crazy change every week. It's one of the cool parts about a lot of the stuff on our bike is you, you can buy a lot of it. We sell a lot of it and it shows that we believe in a lot of our, our products. We run a pro circuit shifter, gives us a lot of options. You can do, you know, a five mil change tip, a lot stronger over stock and the possibility of cutching a tough block or something like that. The cool part, I believe pro circuit is the only team still in the pits that has their mechanics build uh, race engines and practice engines. So that's a pretty cool uh, part of our team. I think gives us more knowledge and, you know, when we do good or pull a whole shot, you know, it's kind of that little extra, you know, pat on the back, I'd say like, you know, you built that engine, like it's pretty cool feeling. We run our Pro Circuit uh, ignition cover with our Pro Circuit timing plugs. The slave cylinder for the clutch is acidized, uh, just like the primary cover. And we run a carbon case saver uh, with some aluminum bolts and the case of a chain breaking, the idea behind that is that it will break and fall away before it breaks the case. Yeah, the other side of our pivot, we have a, a, an aluminum plug in there just to keep mud and water. We have the pedal stop on the other side, so we just try to keep all the stuff from packing up in there. Yeah, so we run uh, VP fuels, we run a little special blend of for us. They tailor it to us a little bit in our spec, about similar to what you can buy. And then uh, under the seat, we run a anti-gravity battery. They keep us supplied with all our batteries and for all of our bikes. And yeah, a big thing on with us is we try to shave as much weight as possible, try to keep the bike light. Throttle Syndicate supplies us with all of our graphics and seat covers. They do a killer job cutting some of the stuff out, trying to shave that weight wherever we can. And they look awesome doing it too, so. We run a manual cam chain tensioner just to be able to fine tune the bike to how we want. And you know, we can check it throughout the day and make sure it hasn't gotten loose or you know, if we gotta snug it up, you know, it's a quick, easy change for us. Ivan does all the testing for us on the team, gives us a good base setting that all the riders can build off of and points us in the right direction. Uh, yeah, and then we run all Maxima, their oil, coolant all, all their sprays and chemicals. Their stuff is awesome. Like a lot of our parts are like works, KHI parts that come from Japan. A lot of the stuff, it, it takes time to get made and, and have sent. Last year was a day before the trucks leave and we're just building race bikes. Like it was it was a bit hectic last year. It was kind of nice. Uh, this year we were still, we didn't have a ton of stuff, but we had definitely a little bit of overstock. We were able to kind of get bikes going and start to get race bikes put together. Um, and then as it goes on, you know, we start slowly start to get more stuff flowing in and you know, just with the shortage of everything, it's definitely been difficult, but this year has been a lot better than last year and we've had a good supply of parts and have been able to really do some more R&D and we've had more opportunity to get in in depth and do some more things that we've wanted to do um, now that we've got some more time and, and opportunity to do that.